It was so creepy. Cannon flew us all the way to Hawaii. They had a big secret and you know what that was? The mirrorless camera. Yeah, I've been waiting for. It's $2,300. That price point is surprising. Right? They're not going... <laughs> It's surprising high or surprising low? I think it's surprising low. I thought that, yeah. I wasn't sure where they were going for it. Like, is this supposed to be like professional grade or what? what how am I reviewing this thing? Ooh, who's gonna buy it? Well, it has the same sensor as the 5D Mark IV, which is over three grand. So to see it come in at $2,300, we were kind of pleased. It's all about the price. So it's like, it's got the Mark IV sensor. So the image quality is going to be similar. They said maybe even a little bit better. If you want to pre-order it, you can go to scp.io slash r, but it's not actually ready yet, but maybe someday it will be. Guess what else? We're gonna give away a free one. We're gonna give one. So if you want one for free, go to scp.io slash r. We'll give you one. And also what, like, we're gonna do something else. Like five people are gonna get our everything bundle, so you'll get all of our books and blah, 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 blah. 30 megapixels. No, that's a good one. With an AA filter, like the 5D yeah. Mark IV, we were never blown away by the sharpness or image quality, but it was always a good all-around camera. It was the an all The file sizes weren't too big, but they it was looked an great. The color is always great. It's mirrorless, so it has an electronic viewfinder. It's like using Live View on a 5D Mark IV. Yeah. But the viewfinder seemed great. It didn't have any particular lag to it. It was big and beautiful, kind of like better than life, sharper oh than God. the Sony a7 III. Of course, it takes all the existing accessories for Canon, like the same batteries, the same flashes, and you can even put all your existing Canon lenses on it. And they have three cool adapters. One of them just adapts your lens. Another one has filters that drop in. So you can put in a polarizing filter or you can put in an ND filter. That's, That's cool. pretty cool. Yeah, then you have to, don't have to buy a different one for every lens. And the third filter is... It has a little control ring so you can adjust the ISO and give your left hand something to do. I don't like when you say that. They also introduced four new lenses. All the new lenses have a control ring on the lens itself. These oh, only work you. with the EOS R, they don't work with your DSLRs. But they're the 35mm f1.8 with image stabilization. The kit lens a 24 to 105 f4 with image stabilization. The 28 to 70 f2, a big monster, faster zoom than has ever existed, but it doesn't have image stabilization and the camera doesn't have sensor stabilization, so there's no stabilization and that's like hard. I'm like a chihuahua in a cold breeze. I shake a lot, I need that. We're kind of spoiled because every other mirrorless camera has sensor stabilization. They also announced a 50 f1.2, also not stabilized, but 50 f1.2, that's big and fast. Existing Canon batteries. Um, USB it, charging. It will USB charge, but with a special adapter, which kind of defeats the point of USB charging. I hate it. I hate special adapters. It has a lot of AF points. They seem to cover the whole frame. And if you've used Canon dual pixel autofocus and live view, you know, it works pretty good. I wouldn't want to use it for action or wildlife. Yeah, not yet. So. Like with the Sony a7 III, the Sony a9, you can use those for action and wildlife and stuff. They track really well. This one doesn't seem to yet be in that ballpark, but we're going to do some more side-by-side -side testing like in full daylight. We could only test it in low light right now. But I we'll didn't, test I it over the next couple of days. It was back great in the light. It has face and IAF in single AF mode, not continuous tracking mode. Not continuous. Mode. It worked well in single AF mode. Yeah, but that's good. The Nikon doesn't have IAF at all. The Sony will do IAF in continuous tracking mode, even for like sports and stuff. That's great. So that's a little bit more advanced. Fuji, again, somewhere in between. It's like IAF just for single. The frame rate dropped pretty slow during continuous tracking, five frames per second, or even down to like three frames per second. So again, yeah. kind of reinforcing like this is not a sports or action camera. No. The raw buffer, the specs say 34. Video. Probably just check out what Jordan and Chris say on this one. They're better at this They're gonna be here. better at this one. 4K 30, but with a 1.7 crop, just like the 5D Mark IV, but a real video codec, unlike the 5D Mark IV. So you don't have massive files, so they're gonna be like regular, reusable video size files. 60 frames per second at 1080, so no deep slow motion. It has a mic and a headphone jack, which makes it better than the 60 Mark II, which lacks a headphone jack and has a flip forward screen. So right now, it seems like it would be a great vlogging camera. Yeah. You could put a super wide angle lens, like a 10 to 18 on there, and get 4K vlogging. Or you could just do 1080 at 60, and use like a 24F14 or something and get some nice background blur and the whole full frame effect. And the autofocusing seemed to work well when we turned it around and... So I think it is going to be our new vlogging camera and it's probably going to be a lot of people's vlogging cameras. 
if they happen to be a vlogger who can spend $2,400 on a camera. I know a lot of you, you want to spend more like $500. Sorry, it's so expensive. Had some cool controls. What did you think? Um, I like that they did some interesting things. So they had FV mode. FV mode is like if you set your aperture, it becomes aperture priority mode. If you set your shutter, it becomes shutter priority mode. I thought it worked just like the Fuji cameras do. You just yeah. pick which settings you want auto, which you want to yeah. change, and no, you don't have to worry about modes. It I'll leave it fun. in FV mode just all the time. It felt fun like a Fuji. It was fun to use. It was fun The to controls use. felt great. The dials felt How great. How about the mystery bar? The mystery bar was like a three setting thing. Like you could slide it to change your ISO if you wanted to, or you could click either side to have them do different functions and you could just customize it to whatever you want. Yeah, it, it worked great. The top LCD screen looked great it and good. worked great. It felt good in the hand. The intangibles, I, I just thought it felt like well-made. It felt good in the hand, ergonomically very pleasing. And it also had a lock button so you could if you're afraid of hitting all of these different buttons that kind of rest under your fingers, you can just lock it so that you won't do that. And I'd say one of the best, like, best handling cameras I've ever used, right up there with Fuji cameras. One card slot still. Yeah. Which, Yikes. At $2,400, that's still kind of tough to swallow. Yeah. This one was tough. There was so much I liked about this camera. Like I said, I thought it was very fun to shoot with, felt good in the hand. The autofocusing when we were using it as like a vlogging camera, great. I loved it. When I was shooting you walking towards me, didn't find it so pleasing. And also I couldn't review my pictures while they were still processing. Yeah, and it was, was like, a little slow. 5D Mark IV sensor, we were never blown away by the 5D Mark IV's image quality. When yeah. you put it up against a D850, it was kind of like, oh, D850, like way better. Yeah, but this is not D850 price. But you're right, it is much less expensive. So. I think this has got a lot of interesting things going on. I like it so far. Okay, we'll compare it to the Sony a7 III, the Canon 6D Mark II, which are kind of in the same ballpark of price, and we will answer any other questions that you have, so write a comment down below. Subscribe to see the video that'll come out in a few days as we're continuing to test this. Go to freesdp.com if you want to win one for free in our giveaway contest. I thought it was, oh, okay. I don't know what's going on. It's like really late, I don't know what I'm, yeah, it's 11.30 here in Hawaii, which means it's 5.30 a.m. at home. That's what our bodies think. We're tired.